Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all have been well. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you probably know that every now and then I do a series where I follow what celebrities eat in a day. And that's based off a series that Harper's Bazaar does. But let's be real, a lot of them, it's kind of giving B-list. There's a lot of big celebrities who are just absolutely probably never going to that studio to tell us what they eat in a day. <laughs> For example, Taylor Swift, possibly the most Famous person alive right now. The other day, I was curious, you know, what does Taylor Swift eat in a day? So I got curious and I googled Taylor Swift recipe, just to see. And it turns out she actually has an iconic recipe of her own that she originally published in 2014. It went viral. She still makes it every now and then. Back in November 2014, Taylor posted this handwritten recipe on her Tumblr for chai sugar cookies with icing. And then at a different point in time, she also posted a picture of them on Instagram. Sounds delicious, very fall. You know, it's giving the autumn white girl fantasy that we also desperately crave. And if there's anyone I trust when it comes to white girl autumn vibes, it's Caitlin Covington. But if there's a second girl I trust, it's Taylor. I'll be honest, I don't, I probably wouldn't consider myself a Swifty. I did fuck hard with the 1989 album. I remember the day it came out, right after I got out of school, I drove to Target to get the CD. And honestly, 1989 was released like within a month that she posted this cookie recipe. So today, I wanted to try it. And yeah, you might have noticed I am wearing a Beyonce t-shirt because I believe in world peace. Stop the hate, knock it off. And it's honestly like half of my wardrobe, so it's what was clean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Taylor Swift x Andrew Lau, fun fact. I remember <laughs> back in 2016, I did this tour called Drop the Mic, and in the promo, they made me dress up as Taylor Swift. <laughs> so enjoy these pictures. Okay, anyways, let's make these cookies. So she originally posted the written recipe, but she also included a very long caption. And this is what she had to say. She says, okay, mm there are two ways you can go about this. The quick and easy way is to make sugar cookies from a sugar cookie mix and just cut open a packet of chai tea and pour it into the batter as you make it. Cause you're busy and you want making cookies to be a chill party or day. Pow. Done. Or, if you want to make the cookies from scratch, that's what I did for the 1989 Secret Sessions. Was that when she, like, had the fans come to her house? <laughs> I guess she made the cookies for them then. You can use this recipe I found on a baking blog I like, joythebaker.com. This is a recipe for basic, insanely good sugar cookies. I added the chai element to the recipe because I thought it would infuse cozy holiday vibes into the cookie, and it really did. After you add the egg and vanilla, cut one chai tea packet open and empty the crushed up tea leaves into the batter because chai cookies are about to happen up in here. Okay. Okay, and then for the icing, she says, she says, I made an icing for the cookies, but they're fine on their own. If you want to make icing for them, just mix one cup of powdered sugar with a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and three tablespoons of milk or eggnog. Okay. <laughs> okay, Taylor, you're having some fun. Girl, you're crazy. <laughs> then she says, I lightly sprinkled cinnamon over the icing once the cookies were baked in ice, but there are so many icing options you can pair with these cookies. I mean, it's out of control. If you're really feeling like living on the edge, you can go ahead and add a few drops of food coloring to the icing to make it festive. No one is gonna stop you. Why? <laughs> Cause the baker's gonna bake, 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 bake. Bye. Ugh, cause I'm getting really sad because <laughs> I wanna be a white girl so bad. <sighs> I'm a white full grown man. That's different. <laughs> All right, so that's her recipe. It seems like she makes a sugar cookie recipe and then she adds the chai tea mixture in and then she makes an icing with eggnog. Interesting. So let's try it. I'm very curious about like just adding the tea leaves into the cookie mix. Cause like that feels, it feels like we're adding leaves in. Like it doesn't sound good. I don't want to eat the tea leaves. So let's see. Is it good? Let's find out. I mean, it sounds good like the vibes. I'm into the vibes. And at the end of the day, sometimes vibes is what matters most. All right, let's give it a try. I've got all the ingredients here, and I got her recipe pulled up here. So it calls for an egg, but instead of an egg, I'm gonna like make a little plant-based swap and just use applesauce. I've always found apple, oh, oh my. I've always found applesauce to be one of, if not the best plant-based egg replacement. And then when it comes time to make the icing, I got this almond milk eggnog. Okay, so she calls for a half a cup of unsalted room temperature butter, half a cup of vegetable oil, half a cup of sugar, and then half a cup of powdered sugar. That's interesting. I feel like I've never put powdered sugar like actually inside the cookie recipe, so that's interesting. Two teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of flour, baking soda, salt, and then a chai tea bag. All right, we got all of that. And then I guess I'm gonna get my KitchenAid. All right, I got my KitchenAid right here. I honestly haven't used it in a minute. Oh. Let's do it. Okay, so first she says to beat the butter and then add the vegetable oil. She says the butter needs to be room temperature and since I am very prepared, I have had butter sitting out for the past couple hours. Let me go get that. Okay, she calls for a half cup. I don't know where my half cup went. I can't find it anywhere. So I'll just do two fourths. Measure this out. 
Oh, guys, my KitchenAid, I've had it for so long. Uh, her age is showing. Okay, that's half cup. All right, that might just have to stay off. What the hell is in there? Okay, half a cup of unsalted butter, then she said to beat it. All right, I don't really know what that's doing. It's kind of just spreading the butter all over the bowl. But, okay, butter beaded. <laughs> oh, shit. Literally, like, everything is a half cup measurement. Hold on, I need to find this half cup. Okay, I don't know where my half cup is. I'm just gonna use my jar. Okay, half a cup of vegetable oil. What? Um, it's not really mixing. Let me scrape the sides down. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. It smells good. All right, that's what it's looking like if you wanted that visual. Okay, and then half a cup of normal white sugar. Oh, oh, that's okay. All right, that's a fourth cup. All right, and then half a cup. Don't mind me, y'all. Ow. Okay, and then half a cup of powdered sugar. Open. Why did I tie this so tight? Oh my god. I'm getting it, we're getting it. <sighs> All right. Hello? Ah, I can't get it open. Need a big, strong, sexy man like Travis to come open this for me. Ah. Ow. All right, I might just cut it. <laughs> I can't even figure out how this is. What the fuck is going on? All right, uh, yeah, I just gotta cut it. Cannot get this knot off. Oh well. Okay. Okay, half a cup of powdered sugar. Okay, mix that. Whoa. Okay, then she says to add the egg. I'm gonna use applesauce and the rule of thumb I've always gone by is that one fourth cup equals one egg. Measure a fourth cup. Okay. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Yo, vanilla extract is so expensive. You thought Eris tickets were expensive? Try and buy some vanilla. I'll humble you real quick. It's getting crazy out there. But okay, two te- Oh, oh, I spilled. Oh, oh, I'm spilling everywhere. Oh my god, that was like five dollars. Shit. Oh, okay. One teaspoon and a little extra. Oh, oh my god. Why does this not pour well? Okay, two teaspoons of vanilla-ish. Okay, and then mix this. Okay, that's what it looks like. Sorry, it feels easier to do this than take the bowl out. <laughs> okay, and now we add the chai tea packet. I am very curious about this. I got just got a basic chai spice. And yeah, she said just cut it open and add it in. Okay. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. I'll give her that. All right, mix it up again. Okay, that's what it looks like with the tea packet in. It kind of just looks dirty. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. Okay, Tay Tay. <laughs> it's good. It's not as like leafy as I thought it would be. Okay, I'm seeing the vision. Okay, now finally we add the flour, baking soda, and salt. So two cups of all-purpose flour. There's one cup. Two cups. And then half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then a fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay. All right, get off. All right. All right, let's get rid of this. I don't think we need this anymore. All right, that's what it's looking like. Not bad. Okay, yeah. I think that's as mixed as it's gonna be. It's a very, like, wet dough, which I think is why the next step is to put it in the fridge for an hour so it's easier to handle. But there we have it. There's our dough. I wanna try some. I'm so naughty. Okay. I'm getting it. That's delicious. All right, I'm gonna cover this. Okay, and then she says to throw it in the fridge to cool for an hour. So I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna clean up. I will see y'all when that is done cooling. Now we wait. Okay, it's almost been close to an hour-ish. The dough is still cooling, but let's go ahead and like preheat the oven and get everything ready. 350. All right, I got a baking sheet. Got a piece of parchment paper. Okay, the oven is preheated. All right, and we have the chilled dough. That is what it looks like. Yeah, okay, that made a difference. It's much thicker and easier to work with now. Okay, then she says to line the cookie sheet with 12 tablespoon dough drops. I've got this little cookie dough scooper thing. I think it's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. -ish. So I'll just use this. She says to get the dough on here and then we're gonna press it down evenly. It's kind of giving like mashed potatoes with like pepper. <laughs> okay, I definitely think we're gonna have more than 12. All right, the balls are on the tray. We have a lot of dough left over. I don't know why she said only do 12 tablespoons. Mm. All right, then she says to press them all down. 
<laughs> okay, there we have it. They aren't perfectly round, but I feel like that's okay. And then she said to cover them with sugar. I guess I'll just sprinkle some on top. Is Taylor Swift a billionaire yet? I feel like at this point, there's no way she isn't. Okay, and I think that's everything. There we have them. Okay, next step is to bake them in the oven, and it looks like she wrote 12 minutes, but then crossed the 12 out and replaced it with nine-ish minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'll just set the timer for nine, and then we can like check them and see if they look good. Ow! Okay. Set timer for nine-ish minutes. All right, now we wait. Uh, I need to clean up again because I spilled sugar all over the floor. So one sec. Okay, it's been nine minutes. The nine minute timer just went off. <gasps> Oh no, y'all. Guys, <laughs> shit, y'all. They expanded so much. They're all pressing up against each other. That's okay, though. We're all just girls having fun here, right? All right, I think they need like another minute or two, and then I'll take them out. Okay, I think they're done. This is what we're working with. It's okay. They're all close. Mm, they smell so good. Okay, she says to let them cool on the pan for 10 minutes, and then to transfer them to a rack to cool completely. So I'm gonna let these sit here for 10 minutes. Okay, be right back in 10 minutes. Okay, it's been like 15-ish minutes. They're pretty cool down. This is what they look like. They smell divine. Okay, now we need to make Taylor Swift's icing. While we do that, I'm gonna transfer all the cookies onto this wire rack so they can keep cooling down more. Wow, they're gorgeous. Okay, we're done with all of this. Okay, so the icing ingredients are just powdered sugar, eggnog, and nutmeg. Okay, so she says one and a half cups of powdered sugar. I'm just gonna weigh it out because I don't know where my half cup went. And that is 180 grams. All right, there's the powdered sugar, and then three tablespoons of eggnog, she says. I don't really like eggnog. I don't think I've ever just enjoyed a glass of it, but I can respect the vibe it's bringing. Hold on, I wanna try a little bit of this first, because I'm curious. Oh, okay, I'm getting it. Hmm, three tablespoons, and then a little bit of nutmeg. Let's stir that up. Okay, here is the icing. It's kind of more like a glaze, but I guess that's fine. As Taylor said, glazes are legit too, so basically just live your life. Period, I will. All right, and I guess that's everything. Now we just ice the cookies and let them cool. It looks like she doesn't cover them completely, so I'm just gonna get a spoon and like dab some in the middle. All right. Wow. Oh, these are cute. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is nice. I'm having fun. Thank you, Taylor. Wow. Taylor Swift the baker? I mean, what can't she do? Okay, they are leaking all over my countertop. I don't know why I didn't put anything underneath this, but that's looking pretty good. All right, yeah. Mine are kind of looking like hers. Oh, also, I forgot she sprinkled some nutmeg on the top. So let's do that. All right, and that's pretty much it. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta clean that up. Oops. Um. Let me just scrape it back in the bowl. <laughs> Yeah, that works. I'm gonna clean this up. All right, let's transfer the cookies to a little serving platter, if you will. All right, guys, here we have it. Taylor Swift's favorite recipe, her special signature, the Taylor Swift chai sugar cookie. Let's try it. Let's see what all the hype is about. Putting just a straight up tea packet in the mix feels like a bold choice. A nice light browning on the bottom. <laughs> all right, here we go. Taylor Swift's favorite recipe. Is it good? Let's see. Okay. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Oh, mm. wait, honestly, <laughs> Taylor, am I a Swifty? Oh my God. I feel like I'm transforming the fall vibes. Oh, I feel like Caitlin Covington just walked through the airport. Mm. Oh, okay, girl. I'm actually very surprised. I was ready to hate on it. I thought it was going to taste like leaves. <laughs> I thought the tea might make it bitter, but this is delicious. Okay, Taylor. Damn, girl, your music career starts to flop or you ever run out of albums to remaster. You might have a future with a little baking blog. Wow, I'm speechless. I genuinely thought they were gonna be slightly bad. <laughs> uh, maybe that says something about society. Wow, wow, wow. I already won a second one. Taylor, look what you made me do. They're so good. 10 out of 10. Wow, I'm, I don't, I'm speechless, honestly. I guess that's the video. <laughs> it felt quicker than most. There we have it, Taylor Swift's favorite cookie. Honestly, I would make these again. Alrighty guys, well that is, I guess that's all for this video. Who knew? Thanks for watching, I hope you all had fun. I feel like not, I feel like this went by quick. I feel like not much happened. So, <laughs> but this was fun to watch. Just a quick little video, I was curious, you know? And consider me impressed. Swifties, I hope I did you all justice. Please don't attack me if I did something wrong. I am pro world peace. You guys, are scary. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are very scary to me. But there we have it. Cruel summer, uh, yeah, because it's summertime and you make these cookies in fall, so duh, summer is cruel because you're waiting to make these cookies in fall. That's what the song's about, right? Okay, I have to go. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.